In this lesson we're going to look at how to evaluate a polynomial and we're going to look at two different methods. The first method on this screen is one you should know already. If we've got f of x equals 4x cubed take away 2x squared plus 5x take away 3 and we're told that x is 2 we want to evaluate this, you just substitute 2 into it. So substituting 2 into this you get f of 2 equals 4 times 2 cubed minus 2 times 2 cubed uh, 2 squared sorry plus 5 times 2 take away 3 2 cubed is 2 times 2 times 2 so that's 4 eighths which comes to 32 2 squared is 4 times 2 is 8 so take away 8 and then plus 10 take away 3 and you get your answer of 31 that's how to evaluate the polynomial uh, the first method the second method requires a wee bit more thought, and we'll have a look at this on the next screen. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to express the polynomial function in something that's called nested form, and that uses factorising. This is something you've maybe not seen before, this type of factorising, but it leads to a technique that, that makes it much easier to evaluate polynomials. So let's look at this function here. 3x power 4 plus 4x cubed take away 2x squared plus 5x plus 8. What we can do is we can factorise this first part here. Normally in factorising you have to factorise the whole thing, but we don't have to do that here. There's not an x common to this part, so we can take an x out of this here and set it outside the bracket. So if you take x out of 3x to the power 4, you get 3x cubed, and if you take x out of this you get 4x squared and, and so on. Next, we can do the same idea again on the next line, but only these three terms. We can take x out of these three terms if we factorise it. So what that leads to is this idea here. If you're taking x outside the brackets, we've got x multiplied by 2 to give this bit, x multiplied by 4x to get 4x squared, and x multiplied by 3x squared to give 3x cubed. Same again. We can take a common factor of x out of this bit, and that leads to 3x plus 4 times x, and then you have the rest here. So 3x times x gives you 3x squared, and then you get the 4x from this 4 times x. What's the purpose of this? Well, when you are evaluating a polynomial and substituting a number in, we can do a different method here. So if I was to put x in, you would multiply the x by 3 and then add 4, and then times by x again, then take away 2, then multiply by x again, and then add on 5, and then multiply that answer by x again, and then add on 8. Now we can set this out in a different, me a different way than this, it looks quite complicated here, but we can set it out in a table. Now if you set it out in a table, and we want to evaluate f of 4, then 4 is what your x value is. In the table, we put x at the side here. The next bit we do is we put the coefficients here. So this 3 in front of the x we put here, the 4 we put here, the negative 2 we put here, the 5 we put here, and finally the 8 down below. And that translates to the values at the front, 3, 4, negative 2, 5, and 8. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to multiply, if we were substituting it up here, we'd do 3 times 4, and then we would add 4 on. Now you do in the table, you do that by dropping the first number down to the bottom, the 3, and then you times it by this number here. So you do 3 times 4, and you write that in here, which is 12. We'd have that done, so then you would add on 4. So you add on this 4. Then you would get 16 at the bottom here. You would multiply all of that by x, which is 4. So you multiply this by 4, and you get 64. If we're looking up here, then you take away 2 or add on negative 2. So you would add these two together, and you would get 62. Again, after you've done all that bit, you would multiply it by x again. So you multiply it by 4, 248. Then you would add on the 5. So add these two together, and you get 253. Next, you would multiply all of that by x, which is 4. 
and you get 1012 and finally you would add on the 8 at the end. So to evaluate f of 4, the answer is 1020 using this table system.